back. Got a lot of stuff to cram in. I've even had some complaints um, that I haven't been posting videos. And the and the content out on YouTube is really boring. Like Genghis today, his video was uh, over a minute long, just a little over a minute long. And he just talked about a glitch that might have happened. And he promoted his uh, code for uh, I forget that buying that buying platform right now. It's escaping my mind. Aptoid. Uh, I've never used Aptoid. I probably should give it a shot. But um, nonetheless, uh, I'm back. I, I've i gone to K35 since my last video. I really couldn't wait. I started the build months ago, and I just used speeds and the res to get some rewards and some events. It was the only reason I started it. And uh, as you know, I could have sped it up at any time. I was trying to delay as long as possible because... I wanted to look like an easy target, and uh, eventually I just couldn't. I couldn't wait any longer. Some of it might have been, I don't want to say greed, uh, coveting the idea of adding boosts. I have recorded a lot of the stuff I did in that upgrade, and I'll throw it in a different video. Uh, it's going to take some time. I, I did it in chunks and uh, recorded it, and I'm going to have to voice over everything and. I'd like to show you the before and after boost, which I haven't even looked at yet. I recorded my previous boost. I don't know what my boosts are yet. I haven't been attacked. I was attacked at K35. I'll show you some reports from Battlefield. I had just rolled over and I just got some troops. And when I came in late to Battlefield, I couldn't port. They hit me three times. I'll show you the reports. And uh, there's a, uh, some things, some uh, anomalies with that that I... Uh, I'll show you as well. Um, other things I want to cover today mostly is going to be... I've seen a lot of disappointing ground defenses, meaning incoming ground attacks. And I've seen a lot of people getting smoked. And I used to have this problem. And I'm not quite sure how I fixed it. So I'm going to go over several things that I'm doing and looking for things that other people aren't doing. Um... And, you know, like a lot of things, it's going to be different on your account than it is for mine. Your attackers are different than mine. Your server is further or further ahead or further behind than mine. So when you see somebody coming at me with 2,000 boost, it might not excite you at all because you're an older server. Or you might be a young, a young server. You might be pooping your underwear right now when you see that. I don't know. But, you know, you kind of got to make your own relevance out of it. Um, so um, a couple things I'm going to get out of the way right away. They have a new, the new um, uh, champions. I gave a video on, on strategy on how to distribute the points to make it so you can have as many champions roll over on the first day of SVS. Well, that is all out the window now because you can associate all your points to the same um, champion on the same day, which right now I'm just bumping up Helen and I'm not even giving any attention, not even tapping their cooters or anything. So, um, I've noticed like the last one here, her next boots is like monster attack on monsters. A lot of people care about monster hunting. I'm just solely focused on my defense and, uh, and monsters take a backseat. Don't get me wrong. I attack them but i'm not trying to kill the biggest monster on the server i'm trying to be the best defense on the server so i i ignore a lot of that stuff so that's enough about about her um i'm not sure quite what the right strategy is here let's see if we can help somebody out here application is that for the store oh how did that come into my window that was weird is that new okay um does it, it looks on my window like he's inviting me to kill a thief. And when I go to click there, it takes me to his alchemy shop. Anyways, all right. Okay. Um, so we covered that. Um, I just wanted to make sure you guys know there's not a hack, but a strategy when you're attacking these boss monsters... Is that what they're called? Just monsters, not boss monsters. Monsters. Um, even though they don't look like monsters, they look like groups of troops. If you attack anything over level 31, you greatly increase your 
monarch value. If it's even level 30, you don't get as much. But if you attack... Um, I think I just did one so I could show you. Is it in here? Yes. This, uh, anything like this... I don't know, is that a keysing? Uh, you will get much higher monarch xp you get 2600 that's pretty good value that's like a, a decent boss monster let's compare it to a pan you know a pan is a little bit better obviously if you can do the rallies but if you're just trying to pump your xp and you're bored you're waiting for rallies you're waiting waiting for something go ahead and knock some of those over that are above 31 it's got to be above 31 and i don't think there's much difference all the way up to to the 45 one i don't think it matters much which level maybe none at all i can't remember but just wanted to make sure you guys knew that little trick most most players that have been around a while know that um uh, i do eventually i got to show you that i upgraded my sub generals um not sub generals but the gear if you remember my uh my 60 had gear similar to this all uh Ake gear, if that's what you want to call the Akamenide gear. Um, so the gear set, I was getting the 15% all the way on the bottom here. Um, so this here would go up to 18%. So I'm getting enemy troop attack an extra 3% for all four categories. Um, again, because it's debuff, I really only count the three. I don't count siege attack debuff because um, you're already going to max that out. Uh, and then you would gain, I think, 3% on the other debuffs on the gear. So it adds up. But you don't want to do it individually. You want to make sure you can do all six pieces at the same time because you will be losing this while you're waiting to gain those, I forget what those shields are called, um, that you need for the upgrade. So I took this gear set here and uh i advanced 60 so i had had enough to do all of them and i needed to wait till i was k35 to do several pieces i i think it's the helmet and the shield and the ring you can't do until your forge is k35 so i was all ready to do it a couple weeks ago and it was another thing that i needed to wait for k35 to do but i have done it um so the set you'll see is enemy troop attack is minus 18 and then the ground troop is that right did i get eight percent there that can't be right i must be looking at different gear let's take a look i got eight percent for ground hp and range hp let's find another axe an amenity axe eight percent that's a lot i thought it was three percent so it's not insignificant i mean these are all i don't want to say free boost but boost on top of stuff you already have you don't need to open a subsidy slot or anything else or or get civ gear this is you know gear you already have that's that's a pretty big difference um i can't do a second set yet uh i do get help the, the places to get these, if you don't remember, you need to do the Gather Troops event here. I'll put it at the top, right at the right at the top of the screen. You need to get to the level 50 chest. If you look up top, there's a, 10, a 5, 10, 30, and a 50. You can stop at 50. Anybody can get to 50. I got to 70 this week. I don't know if I've ever done that. I think I did that once, and I got, like, Khalid or whatever. Um, this isn't that great. Um... The, this general token has got all the generals in it, so the odds of you getting somebody that's not in a tavern aren't that great. Uh, but get to the level 50, you will get 10 Master Forge certificates in 3, 4. So you get 40 there. You need 50 to one piece. Okay. The other place that I find these without paying for them are in the... Uh, the Vikings, is it still up? It's Friday. The Vikings won't be up today. Um, if you go hell mode, you get 20 a week. If you go hard mode, um, like I do in the morning when I wake up, uh, that would get you 10 certificates. Sorry, I really tried not to tell that horrible joke, but you could even hear my pause in my voice. Anyways, uh, 
that's how you get those master forge certificates so i don't know of any place else other than like the daily pack which are worthless i think we talked about it. you get one for five dollars and then you get one at the ten dollar level it's kind of a joke so um let's get on to these reports this is why you uh stayed so long you want to see some ground let's take a look at some people that have sent me some information um here's a friend of mine that uh uh Okay, she gave me permission to show you uh, this last report. So she's 2.7 billion power. I am taking hits from 8.6 billion, but um, she had a decent amount of, of reinforcements. So we'll take a look what she had. She had seven people reinforcing her. And they had T14, so they weren't slouches. I like to see that they have layers all the way down. This this player is good. I'm sure somebody in here um, won't have a good march. It always seems to happen. In fact, if you're in Battlefield and you're wiped out, go ahead and just heal 500 of every troop, even if it's 55 of every troop, and throw some rain into somebody that's taking rallies you're going to help them out a lot. Now, I'm, when I say, you know, 500 troops at every level, I'm saying don't even boost, don't even heal uh, a PvP march as far as, like, ground for ground generals. Just all, only send in layers, and it, it will help immensely. So these look like pretty decent reinforcements. Um, where I play, a lot of times you'll see just top three or, you know, it looks like somebody's march-sized died out and they just leave their troops in there you only got a couple layers but these are all good layers and she still took a beating um this uh this player of, that i'm reading a report is very skeptical of my my uh strategy of staying k34 she really really didn't like that um but i i'd like to convince her that some of my reports are pretty damn good see here's a here's a here's a reinforcement you can shame on this person uh the the stitch 626 stitch um they must have ran out of their uh march size boost i mean this is uh all over the board here they just i don't want to say got sloppy probably just sent whatever their first march was at auto generated all right let's look at the attacker the attacker is sending t15 that's a that's a that's impressive um pretty good march size if, if uh they have three thousand ground troop three thousand t14s alone looks like this person doesn't have the other anything else open other than ground as far as the t14 but that, that was a good choice um Interesting. The siege they only sent a thousand instead of ten thousand. So normally your top three tiers you would send ten thousand. This person is uh, using a meadow where they only sent a thousand. Let's see if they do it all the way down to the bottom. Looks like they use more ground. I've seen players do this uh, where they your troop type that they're choosing they use all the way through definitely seems like they know what they're doing as far as how hard they hit but they did do a thousand on all the other layers all the way down let's look at some buffs um so this person's hitting with 2100 uh ground attack and ground attack is really hard to debuff to, to debuff uh defense and hp is as well so um i don't want to sneak down to look at their debuffs yet but uh we're going to so their ground attack debuff is only 392 I'd like to think I'm in the 500s. Um, sorry if it sounds like I'm comparing myself as like I'm better. I'm just trying to lay some groundwork of of what's working and what what might not be working. So once we get over the 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 uh, the contest, the eggplant contest, we can just uh, start learning. So 2135. Should I write that down? I'm gonna write that down. That way we can take a look. Uh, and then the debuff here is 392, 310, and 437, 473. Okay, what else do we want to see here? I think that's going to be about it. Um, 
let's just double check her information. This is a solo. Alright, so they can send their subsidies. So they're debuffing as well. So their debuffs aren't anything too crazy. I'd like to see her subsidies are, are available, and they are. Um, I'll bring up something else on subsidies later. Okay, so that's Oda's report. Was there another one in there? Okay, uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, this is a player on our server who is a K34 and absolutely zero spending. So she had a couple ground defenses. Is this hers? This is hers. This is Battlefield. So this is her entire build. She is about a 1.2 billion. Very similar to me. Zero spending. Um... She just went K34. She was K33 for the longest time. So her truth buffs are, uh, debuffs are a little bit behind as well. Um, she's working on it every day, but uh, you can see she's at a buck 92, and she got hit by a, almost the same attack buff 2000. But I bet I'm willing to bet it's just T14, of course. Um, yeah, T14, but a decent march size. Uh, let's look at the size of that march real quick. Um, I mean, 42, almost 4,300. What was the last report that we looked at? I, I forgot to see the march size. Being They were sending T15. I'm sure it was a decent amount, 5 million. So she, she got hit with, even though she had reinforcements, she got hit with T15 at Five million. That's a, that's a big pop over at twenty one hundred attack. Um, so the power exchange would have been over eight hundred million to four hundred sixty six million. So I mean, he took something off the guy. I mean, that's there's no shame in that. But uh, you, that is not a winning report. Um, nothing that you could sustain in SBS. So. Um, Is there anything really else we need to see in this report? I don't think so. Um, just make sure her subsidies were on. No reinforcements. Um, I guess I could show you her general. Or can't I? There, she did send it. So, um, I don't have the general, the wall general of the other report. I'm sure she would share it with me if, if needed. Um, but being a non-spender on this account, she has as many HP and defense mounted troops as she can afford at the time. It does leave her, like, this is a good gear. This has mounted troop defense at decent levels on every level. Um, then you get down to her boots. You see the bottom one is a ground troop defense, 880. Doesn't help at all. I mean, it looks pretty, but... She knows that she's got to replace that as soon as she gets the gems. Uh, let's not go to the... Oh, yeah, we can do the helm. Um, these are all mounted troop HP, except the bottom one is a percentage. That doesn't help at all. Almost none. I mean, if you're le if you're not ghosting your mounted troops and you got a uh, 2 million T13, T14 mounted troops to defend, I guess, but you're kind of spreading out your buffs and you're not going to have a a good defense anyways if you gotta feed those guys so she will work on replacing that bottom one too she knows that that looks good but it's not and same thing with this mounted troop hp the bottom one is a percentage that's got to get fixed um so now let's look at their attack so um my attack is out of the eight possible refines and this isn't on purpose but this is the way i, I ended up spending my gems Five of my eight are siege attack. Um, I have a lot of siege, a lot of little siege, and I know my siege can shoot over the over the group and take out even the incoming ground. Um, so I don't mind if I have siege attack. Range attack could possibly work the same way. They don't shoot as far, but they do shoot over 
the, uh, the enemies. Uh, I would rather, much rather siege over range, uh, but range does a lot of killing. Um, so let's look at our weapons. Um, percentages. I mean, I don't have any percentages. All my, all my, you can get percentages everywhere in this game. You can only get flats in so many places. So um, while these range attack percentages help, they can be debuffed. Um, that is something we should check. See if see if her range is getting debuffed because then they're just twelve percent refines. Now that siege attack one on the bot on the second from the top, you know, four hundred forty nine. That will help all of her siege all the way through. And the lower you go, the more you're getting bang for your buck. So I think we all know. Stick with flats. Siege or mounted is what I'm using. If you find that you can get away with other stuff, then great, good for you. Good for you. Same thing for the ring. Um, it's nice that she has some subsidy training speed on, on the wall general. Um, obviously, she knows to, to get that one fixed. A um, lot of range troop percentages. So let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is going to take long to go through all this stuff. But hey, you guys have been asking for videos, and the other stuff out there is garbage. So. I've been encouraged to to fill you with my semi-useful information. So let's look at her her tiers. She's got she's got a a, a million ground. Huh. Huh, that's a lot. Huh. Um, I don't use that much. I only use the amount of ground I have is just what it takes for me to do a ground PvP march. Um, but, I mean, ground is useful. It should hold up the enemy while your siege and range take them out. Obviously, it didn't work in this in this battle. Uh, it would I would think it would make her weak again on a mounted attack. But, all right, so she's got some ground. Um, a million ground range. She's got 710,000. That's, you know, about what I have. Just, I'm just going to scroll down and check out. So she's got a lot of Siege T13, more than I have. Um, not much ground at the at the 12 level. So if you're going to have a bunch of ground in your top three layers, you might as well go T11 if, you're, if your biggest troop is T13. Uh, they, still, they still kill upwards. A lot of people like the T11 and the T12 because... Uh, how to how do I explain it? Some people think they have special battle mechanics. Some people believe that the T12s are like the first troop that will attack over the T13s. I don't think that's true. I think what happens is when they kill their opponent, they will attack up. They will take the next highest level. Like let's say uh, you send in ground uh, ground T11s and you got two million of them. They're gonna kill the opponents. Uh, T11s, and then they'll start climbing the ladder. It might even might even start at the top of the ladder and kill their T14s until they die, giving you way more points than you lose. But if you if you have a big top layer like this ground march, you're just giving up points, and you're trading points, and and you're not if if it starts killing down their ladder, you're gonna have to kill a lot of troops to make up for the amount that you're losing at, at your top level. I don't know if this makes sense, and to me it does, but um, I don't know. Struggle through it and replay it a couple times till, till my stupidity sounds right. Um, let's continue to read. Uh, I don't mind that this amount of T12 siege, um, it makes you vulnerable to a siege bomb, but if they hit you with everything, anything else, that siege is going to kick butt. It just wipes them out. Um, but it's going to be a problem when you get hit with Siege. So I feel like... I, I will have to take a look at my build. I don't think I have that many T12. I do have a decent amount of T11 because that is uh, a decent range class. T11 and T12 have the same distance. So looks like she's beefed up her T11 pretty nicely. I wanted to look at how many range she was using too. Um, almost no T11 range. So why have... Why have range percentage attack if you don't have many range at home? She 
this is Battlefield. She probably attacked somebody and killed them off. I'm pretty sure she's got more than... Yeah, she doesn't even have any T-13 range. So she attacked somebody with her range. Oh, they're right in front of me. 710,000. So maybe she's got to add some um, T-12 and T-11 range. Again, it might make you vulnerable uh, to a mounted attack, but it's going to help kill stuff coming in. And if you can hold up a mounted attack before to get to your range, then you're going to do very well. Um, yeah, the T-10 range, just 4,000 or 400,000. I'm not quite sure. That's probably about what I have. It'd be nice if I had two screens next to each other and I could compare the two, me versus the reports we're reading. But, uh, I mean, she's got some siege all the way down. That's that's what you want. Um, a million siege at every level. That's where the flat refines are going to help a lot. You got these T6 uh, siege machine, those flat refines all go to these million, and they they go a lot further than a percentage when you're looking at these lower troops. You guys know that. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we haven't looked at this report. This is the second report. She is not at full power, so I don't know that we're going to look at this report too long. Is this the same attacker? It is not. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, the attacker has sent range, so um, you can see she did, she did really well. So this is probably why she sent me this, just, just for a comparison, a baseline. Why can I do so well against range when I'm... She's at 800 million power, full strength, she's at 1.2. So she's already lost a lot of troops, and she's still defending against range really well. Let's take a look at her buffs. Um, her range attack debuff is 500. Is that right? Yes. That's full. Yeah, that's maxed out because she's not debuffing half of their attack. It's only 1,000 attack. Uh, almost 1100 range attack so nothing too crazy we don't need to dive into that too far um, what were we going to do next look at my reports I was saying something before we we're going to look at my build <clears throat> alright well let's take a look here should I show you Battlefield? I, I, my Battlefield was kind of a wasted experience. I don't, I'm going to slip that in later, not now, just to try to stay on on topic a little bit. So this was our last SVS. Um, no, this was two SVSs ago. The last SVS was very disappointing. Um, I feel like the last server was, was cowardly, but they had this rule where all the bigs couldn't fight. If you had your wings, you couldn't fight so that uh, the less worthy opponents or uh, uh, keeps in that that server could get their wings, um, which I get the the charity aspect of it. Um, I, we've tried to do that on our server before. I don't like it because the bigs aren't getting all the all the chests, which now have the orbs for the uh, the fifth specialty in them, along with blood of heirs and everything else that goes with it. So to really hold them back and expect them not to fight, I guess they do this every other SVS. So you only get one SVS a month then if you're a big, if you're a spender on that server. To me, complete garbage. It was so boring. Um, but in turn, it, it did allow other people to get their wings on our server that didn't have them because they wouldn't attack me. Um, yeah, so they were attacking the next level so so it did work out as far as some of the people on our server got points but normally wouldn't have um so that that part of it's okay but anyways this is still uh, these are still reports from two sbs's ago so um i did write down which report was which so the whole point of this video was to defend ground should I show you... I'll show you a, a decent mounted attack. Um, let's see. What did the attacker send? T14. But it was a good size. Let's take a look. Um, 3 million. And their buffs were... 1700. 
So I guess we don't need to spend a whole lot of time on this. Uh, the power exchange was significantly in my favor. I had no reinforcements. Um, I did not have my main wall general on because I was just trying to get somebody to hit me. So um, there's your baseline. Let's. What one was that? The fourth one? I'm just going to delete it. All right. I got too many reports on here. All right. So the th next one I'm going to show you, bear with me. At least I went through these ahead of time and I know it's what. Otherwise, we got to just bounce around. So let me read my cheat sheet here. Um, you want to see a siege rally? I think I showed you already. This one here was a siege rally. So you're going to see... I'm 1.4 billion power, so that's pretty close to full strength for me before my last upgrade. Um, their siege attack was pretty weak. 1,200. That's kind of shocking. Obviously, I fully debuffed that. Um, is this a siege? It's a solo. I thought this was a rally. So she soloed me. She sent in her big siege. And... Uh, What was the point exchange again? I mean, it took a big chunk out of me. Um, I'm just reading the report. I'm not sure why some are wounded, wounded versus killed. <laughs> oh, hospital versus uh, soul, I guess. Um, so let's, let's look at my re my troops real quick to see what she killed and, and, and why and how. So she doesn't kill much of my top layers until you get to my siege. She wipes out my small amount of T-13 siege. And this is why I don't have many T-13 sieges because they all die. They, she would have killed them all. So all that power loss is gone. Even though they kill a lot for me on defense, they are a liability. Uh, you'll see here my T-12 siege at the top got wiped out and did not kill as much as is the damage I lost. And same thing with my T11. They are a liability when you get hit with Siege. Um, but they're worth it. I mean, you got to take your lick somewhere. You can't build... Here, my T9s didn't die at all. Um, so, I think we looked at this report in another video. I just want to quickly scroll down and see my T5 Siege and below do die. Some of them nothing too significant so um my point is nobody's going to build a perfect defense you can build a defense to that anybody that attacks you with range just gets smoked but then you get smoked when they hit you with ground or whatever else so uh this is a balanced defense i'm trying to build to take on anything and everything and uh, to win every report i'm not expecting to not have to heal after reports um which is kind of a liability in battlefield because i'm trying to stay so small for svs that in battlefield you can almost guarantee you're going to get zero you're going to win you're going to score more points than them uh, by the time they zero you often you'll be the top scorer at that time but there's still going to be an hour and a half left for them to score in other places so then you got to revert to holding buildings or strategically healing small amounts of troops for certain things so they will zero you eventually um you can get a lot of points for you and your uh alliance until they do you'll win on points but you're gonna get zeroed whereas if you just build enormous amounts of troops in battlefield you won't get zeroed but you're not gonna get attacked very often either so what's the fun in that so this is the the the, the strategy of my build so let's um Take a look at some ground attacks. We looked at mounted, we looked at siege. I don't think we need to see a range solo, do we? I don't have problems with range solo. Let's quick take a look at one here. Um, so almost three times the damage that they took here. This is a solo. They sent range, T14s, um, 2000 attack. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so just to give you a baseline, my my siege, I did not fully debuff them. 
so looks like I can debuff almost 1800 range attack I could I do have areas I can buff that up and, and remind me if I forget I'll take you guys over to my my sub generals and show you what I'm after can I kill this guy's thief for him what's going on why does that take me to this alchemy sorry uh, all right let's let's move on this guy's not even in my alliance. <laughs> All right. Uh, nonetheless, we wanted to see some ground attacks. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, this is a ground rally. I had no reinforcements. I took 362 and killed 861. That's a pretty good margin. Um, now, they don't get to send their subsidies in a rally. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage they're at. That'll affect their buffs. It's a 2200 buff ground attack. So that's almost exactly the same as the first report we looked at. Uh, my attack debuff in this report is 613. Um, the first report we looked at, hers was 392. And then her defense was only 310. I'm at 793. I'm debuffing 793%, which might be all of it. I need to do the math first. Should be just under 1600. I am not debuffing all of her. I'm not fully debuffing the incoming ground defense. And then my HP is significantly higher too. It's 905. Again, I'm not trying to brag. Um, just trying to troubleshoot here. So, and plus, if you look at your your stats and they're nowhere near mine, expect to get smoked. Okay, um, and I'm only saying that as a disclaimer. I don't want you guys coming back to me. Is it cost me a thousand dollars to recover because I tried the Jedi defense? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I I don't know what's going to happen when you try it. So, um, I spent a lot of time training underneath Sith lords and Jedi's. You know, so it, it is what it is. Um, I need to get back to my focus here. So, what did they send? You know what I have at home. Was I fully powered up? 1.1 billion. So, I took a haircut before this. I was trying to get hit, and uh, I cut out a lot of my siege, and I trimmed down my, my layer, my defensive layer. So, I took out a lot of my siege and my T1 ground layer went down like 147 or something like that uh, 160 around 160 uh, 160 million T1 mounted I went lower eventually and right now I think I only have like 150 I, I can't remember anyways the attacker two people Claudio and Flirkin so what confuses me about some of these reports is if you look at Claudio, he his troops fight under his buffs. Well, to a point, right? So Claudio is going to use Flurkin's... Let's go back to the previous screen. So Flurkin's attacking. You see his debuffs down here. I'm Claudio is the joiner. Claudio is going to use... And correct me if I'm wrong. This is my understanding. Everybody calls me out when I say something stupid. This is just what I believe, okay? Throw it in the comments and tell me where I'm dumb. But the way I understand it is Claudio will use all the debuffs from the rally setter. But when we scroll up here and we're looking at um, Flurkin's attack buffs, those are under your general. <laughs> At least the percentage of them. Because your general matters. So now when we go back here and we're taking a look at Claudio, we don't get to see what Claudio's really attacking with. They could be attacking with more than 21, 2200%, or they could be way lower. Um, I'm not quite sure how that those stats transfer. Looks like they used a march similar for a barb versus a PvP. They only sent 50 of every layer along with all their ground troop. Um not sure what to think of that so it's a decent sized ground march looks like they sent 
I'm on the wrong page. Looks like they sent combined 5,200. I thought it would have been higher. Oh, I'm wrong. It is higher. So they sent 8 million troops at me in that rally. So they gave up their subsidy bus in order to double their march size. It would have been nice if they had more people from their alliance join. Uh, then they could have could have probably did some better damage. But I was willing to I was willing to eat a 1.5 million a billion march to lose 1.1 billion points at this point. I just needed to get some hits because people are so scared to fight, so afraid to fight. Um, so that's the rally. Let's take a look at a ground solo where they're. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This is a ground solo. This is Claudio. <laughs> We're going to get to see their attack debuff. Let's take a look at that right away. Uh, their ground uh, attack is only 1664. So I'm, I'm not fully debuffing that. Looks like I am fully debuffing the other stats. So this is a weaker ground attack compared to that rally. But they did get to use their subsidies. Let's make sure she had them. He had them attached, and did. Um, it's a fully ascended Scipio. Look at that! Did you see my crypto alert pop down there? Do you guys remember when I told you to buy crypto instead of spending on this game? Bitcoin was at twenty nine thousand in that video, and it's pushing thirty five thousand right now. So. Uh, what is that up? 25%? I don't know what the math is. But uh, and it's not done. Next year's the big year. So um, just wanted to throw that little tidbit in there. Nobody told me to do a Bitcoin video either, which is probably a good thing. There's plenty of material on that. Um, I don't know. What else do we want to see in this report? I was 1.3 billion, so I was stronger. I wasn't at 1.1 like the rally. Are we learning anything from what I'm telling you? Let me take a look. We talked about refines. Let's go take a look at my sub general gear to see what I might be doing differently. So I went through this phase where I got my butt kicked by ground and I could take any range and mounted attack, but ground was really hurting me. And so I was looking for any sieve gear that had any ground attack debuff so um, the first level Civ gear, I don't know what they call it, but you know at the second level of the of the cake, you can get the helmet, the ring or whatever you want to call that, the bracers, and the boots. But there is a gear. No, you can't get the boots. You just get the right side. So you get the leg armor. There's one set. And I think it's the curio that allows you to get boots. You can't get the boots in any other any other civilization gear. So that allows me to get the the first level of in city ground troop and mount troop HP defense of uh, the set attributes because I use a choreo bracer as well. So that's the way I got without. I've never done a full cake. Um, I wouldn't expect anybody to. <laughs> um, so that's how I got two different gear sets in here. But I was looking for ground troop debuffs. So here on the Augusta Crown, and I'm not telling you my Civ gear are the best ones, right? You do what do what you do, right? If I had to start over again, I don't know. I'm happy with my setup. Um, so I went for ground attack, HP, and defense debuff, and enemy ground troop attack with the Augusta crown. So there's three buffs there knocking off my ground. This is my wall general, if you guys didn't figure that out. Um, on the Augusta leg armor, I am debuffing range and siege attack, which is good. Enemy range, troop defense. So that's all range and siege. Um, the Corio bracers are doing enemy ground defense. And the Corio Boots are doing Siege Machine Attack. We don't care about that. Mounted Troop Attack. I, I mean, I'm glad to have it, but I was expecting to find more Ground Troop debuff in here. Um, really, your Wall General, again, is not to debuff their march. Your Wall General is to kill their march. 
your sub generals are debuffing. Don't focus on debuff. Just take it on your wall gear. Make sure you're killing their march with your wall gear, not debuffing their march. But on the uh, Parthenian Axe, I do have ground troop HP, minus 48. That's helpful. And then on the, on the armor, we have mounted troop defense, minus 42. And then also the set bonuses help a lot too. Right, any set bonus will help because this is your wall general, not your sub general gear. So here down at the specialties, you'll see I've got the uh, full force cavalry. Cavalry. These are the orbs, not this one, but these are the orbs that are coming in the in the SVS chest. So find a way to get those. Right, it really hurts to sit back on that. Oh, I can put my dragon back on. Uh, let you guys take a quick look at my dragon. Mounted troop HP refines, and I do have one. Uh, attack refine i'd rather that attack refine be hp i think <laughs> so uh but they're all gold so they're gonna stay that way um where is that orb here that's clunky to change like this I never used to screen shake like that i was just trying to find this guy here all right should have went up so here's the specialty orb uh, I've got two SVSs where I've gotten all the chests, so I was able to upgrade this thing all the way up to 12 of 20 of the final level. Um, can I upgrade any more? No, I need rune stones. So once you get, it seems like you use the rune stone of the appropriate level, and now that I'm at level four, I'm using all four rune stones, and I'm out. So that's just gonna have have to wait. So. You can see that the all troops attack is what's going up at this level. At the next level, I will not get any enemy ground troop defense or HP debuff, but I did get that at the level three, I think it was. How do you figure that out? That uh, doesn't really show you. Uh, I think it was level three that I got that. So you don't need to go as high as I am to get that ground defense and HP. But don't forget, you get all troops attack numbers. So all those lower tier troops, even the ones that aren't mounted, are getting 500. So this doubles up. I'm getting 500 for my siege and my mounted baby troops. Um, I don't think any of the other ones are going to do much damage. But I'll take it. All right, let's get over to Subsidy Generals. Man, it's going to be a long video. Okay, so we talked about upgrading Parthenian. What I wanted to show you here was going back to when I was getting my butt kicked by ground um, I went through a phase let's take a look at this ring bad example um, this ring here I don't want to show you this one yet let's come back to it this ring here is the rings one of the viewers here called me an idiot for missing out on the range to attack on this ring and I instantly thought he was right and I think I came back and corrected it in the next video most people are getting killed by range when they start out with their defense. Um, as advanced as my defense is, is that a, a way to say it? Uh, can I say it like it is? Uh, as advanced as my defense is, I don't have any problem with range. So I didn't even think twice. I know I used to have all of these rings. And when I started getting my butt kicked, I went through. Uh, again, the only thing this ring is good for is that range troop attack debuff all the other stats don't count towards the battle the the way they work is they only buff the few troops in your trub subsidy usually i only have like a couple hundred troops in there so i don't really care if i'm adding mounted troop defense to those couple hundred troops but your debuffs scatter to all your army so that's that's why they say they don't count they count very little is the best way to say it so um what i did is i went through this massive phase where I put on all these rings and I got as much ground troop HP debuff as I could. I'm not debuffing the attack and they get to attack first, but I'm very likely reducing their ability to attack a second time with all that uh, mounted troop debuff. Um, so that ring, that ring will help you out a lot. Um, let's look at this axe, ground troop HP. So. I don't know if it helps a lot to reduce range troop HP. The way I'm taught, it's kind of a low priority. 
like take it if you can get it, but don't focus on it. Um, I think range doesn't have a whole lot of hit points to begin with. I'm not sure, um, but I don't really know anybody that's focusing on range troop HP. The reason I'm using this axe is for that ground troop HP, and I'm taking the range troop HP with it. Um, so what else do I have besides the axe? The spear. The spear has ground troop defense and ground troop HP. So in hindsight, I'd probably rather have more spears, especially if, if you're having problems with ground. Um, how many do I have? One, two, three. So I'm getting three times 80 percent debuffs on each one. I wonder if I shouldn't even add a few more spears and lose the range HP. I mean, I'm not having a problem with ground, but if I was in your shoes and I'm getting my butt kicked with ground, I would take a look at those spears. There's also two different helmets, but I don't think I don't think there's a right one and a wrong. I mean. There's definitely a right one and a wrong one. So I'm using the Courageous Helmets. I get the ground defense and ground troop HP. Um, I don't think I'm even using any of the wrong ones anymore. I had one on for a while, so it should be in my inventory. Um, or you can get mounted troop attack. So I, I, guess I, I guess that's not wrong, right? Like if you're having problems with mounted marches coming at you, an attack is always great to debuff. So... You know, that's not the worst thing to use that other helmet. Um, but if you're having a problem with ground, use the Courageous. Um, let's see. That's minus 35. Let's see what the Parthenian one is. Minus 42. So you're getting 14% more debuff combined on this helm once you take it up to Parthenian. So uh, it's it's that's a big deal to upgrade these. I thought it was just a few percentage here or there. It's significant. I I really thought it was like, eh, I'm bored. I'm going to do it. Until I did this video with you guys, I had no idea how many stats you're actually getting by a Parthenian upgrade. That's significant. Um, definitely aim for it. Of course, you got specialties um, on your sub gear. The, the, the ones that only say uh, snipe, you just got to read them, right? So the first one is, Mounted troop HP. Well, that would help your few troops in your sub city. The third one is applied to your subordinate city mayor. So this one counts to your troop capacity. I'm never at full capacity, so I don't know why people care about that. I mean, and if you're going to conscript troops, you can only do all the troops. You can't do a partial amount of troops. So the less capacity I had, the better because then I could actually afford to conscript. So I don't know why everybody wants the... Maybe if you're a big player and you're going into... Uh, uh, you're trying to get your your red wings or something in Battlefield, uh, Shalans or something like that, maybe you want as much capacity and money is no object to you, fine. But to me, I don't, I don't understand the value of capacity in your subsidies, but I try to get it everywhere I can because everybody else wants it, but I, I don't think it helps. So now we're going to go to suppress or snipe, whatever the stat is. We're going to read that. It is a debuff. So um, that's why they do this. And then you can do the fourth one if you get all the other ones done and you can get some more defense debuff, but that's expensive. So uh, I don't have the, the, the rune stones for that. I do have them on some of them, um, like this guy here. Uh, you start getting into this fifth specialty. Let's look at the second one first. So I'm taking off 10% mounted troop attack. And then I think we can read it from this other page. 10% uh, enemy tr enemy troop attack on all of them, including mounted or included ground. Uh, let's look at the fourth specialty. Now we got enemy range troop attack and mounted troop HP. That's 75% more bonuses that I was getting that I wasn't getting. And and I looked through my generals, and this was the best one that I had. Um, so I'm even, you know, I did do the snipe is same thing, troop attack on Mark Antony. And he gives me ground troop and mounted troop HP and range attack. So that's decent. Uh, Baldwin didn't excite me. 
Is this the guy? No, this is not the guy. Uh, Troop HP. I, I should take that up the next level. Should we do it now? Would that excite you guys? Um, when I'm using my stones, I never use it on anything but the fourth specialty. I used to use it on the second specialty because I was trying to always get my... Uh, my snipes done on my sub cities before I was smart enough to know any better. So um, I can get another two four uh, percent enemy troop HP. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know if it's right. I'm gonna do it while you guys are here. It's a lot of rune stones, and that would use up all my gems. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Oh no, I I got gems done. All right, so there I just added four percent troop. HP debuff to all the troops that are coming at me. If I went for the fifth specialty, um, there's your ground troop attack. Now I'm only clicking on one of them, so your ground troop attack would probably be more like 16%, and your enemy ground troop HP would also be 16%, and your death in the super arena. So this is a good one to finish if you're having ground issues. Um, if you have them, I think I have, yeah, I only got two copies of them. I almost thought about splitting them up. But uh, I combined them or enhanced them. Uh, yeah. What do they call it? Ascended. There we go. Uh, all right. I'm blabbering. Do we want to look at all these generals? I was going to show you one that was really disappointing. This guy. I like this guy. Look at his buff um, or his debuff. Reduces enemy ground troops and mounted troops attack by 20%. Remember how hard it is to get ground troop attack debuff. Take it if you can get it. Um, but then, I don't think I can enhance them at all. No, I have no copies of them. But then I went to do his snipe. And here is his snipe. And it's ground and mounted troop attack. Well, I said, well, it must be somewhere else. Oh, no, that's... Mounted troop and mounted troop attack and defense. Well, it's got to be this one. All troops attack. What the hell? There's no debuff on this guy. What's this final? So you do get the mounted and ground troop attack on the final, which... That's good, but then you get more attack right underneath it. It's like this guy wasn't built for a subsidy. But if you look at him, he's got the subsidy icon. And, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Not very good... Uh, specialties for this guy some people that I got sitting on the bench I have a Baldwin a Mark Anthony I don't have anything I can ascend him can I ascend him I might have us I might actually be able to ascend this guy nope <coughs> excuse me I've been talking for the last hour probably you guys wanted a video all right I I think that's enough um, I did notice a couple things uh, they are giving 300 percent or i'm mean, sorry 300 vip points now i don't know if you guys noticed they had them on the wall for the last several days but they weren't counting well i got one this morning and it actually for the first time that i noticed counted for 30 or 300 vip points so mine comes on at noon central time i think everybody's comes on at the same time uh so do the math whatever time zone you're in uh try to grab those but that's a long road uh, what else did I want to talk to you about? Oh, um, let's just see how long I've been recording. Will it show me? It doesn't even show me. Whatever. You guys wanted it. You can watch this in chunks. Um, I was going to make another bad joke. So, last week, I upgraded to K35. I went around, and I grabbed as many... Uh, um, European subs like I still have Lucas's sub I got rid of the rest of them I put on <coughs> 7 or 8 and, and all but one were gold so every time I did an upgrade on a city I did a check and I'll put it in my next video it was 10 to 20 days each sub knocked off my build time so I was knocking off almost 200 days each building I built that's enormous but I went into battlefield and I got smoked and everybody got smoked so let's go look at the reports um, 
I came in the battlefield late and I was on the launch pad, whatever you call that. And somebody was right next to me burning on the launch pad. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and, and I was like 40 minutes late. I was, I was working and I could have logged on on time. I just forgot. Um, there were no announcements on the line app or anything. And I just, oh crap moment. And uh, anyways, I jump in, I'm on the launch pad. All our ports are gone. Uh, which I quickly assumed when I saw that my neighbor burning who was like a 2.5 billion power player and uh, They set a rally on me right away because I tried to ghost I tried to port to a portal and instantly ghost Well, I didn't know I couldn't port at that point So all I did is show everybody where I was but by setting a rally even it looked like I ported I didn't port and I set a rally saying Hey, I'm over here. And they, they instantly set a rally. These top three rallies are all it took to zero me. Um, I did it maybe a little fraction better than everybody else. I mean, I won this rally, but I don't take this big a hit, right? So I'm wondering what's going on. He's a 10.6 billion power player. Let's take a look at the buff. Siege, 2,400. That's a, that's a heck of a siege. I wonder if that's even what he sent. Yeah, Zuka. So they sent Siege, and it was a, I don't know if that's a full rally, but eight players. I don't i don't remember seeing a ninth uh, player in any of my rallies. So to me, that's a full rally. Um, so they, uh, they sent how many troops here? 17 million troops. And they did some damage. They hit me good. Uh, but I felt like I should have did better. Like I love getting rallied now, um, especially in Battlefield. Who cares, right? So let's take a look at some of the troops that were coming at me here. Um, this guy sent range. See, you do fight under your own general, so you don't have to all send the same troop type, um, even though everybody seems to tend to do that. Um, I know some of the bigs will send a big rally, like a siege rally or whatever else, and they'll have one person send a ground march as a sacrificial layer. They don't do as well, but they're taking one for the team, and, and the rally goes much deeper than than it would if you didn't have a sacrificial layer in there. So I don't think we need to look through all their troops. Um, like I said, this video is going to be long enough. Um, I do have a point to this, so bear with me. This will be the second rally. I'm down to one billion, and I did. I lost 280 million power, and they lost three, 420 million, 10, 13 million, 413 million. So I won, right? I mean, if that feels like a victory to you, um, I don't think I had my. Uh, I did not have my dragon on, but other than that, I felt like I was at full strength. I'm like, man, is this guy really that great? What did they send? I'd be surprised if they sent two siege in a row. Looks like ground. Where is his ground? Oh, Douglas's range. Isn't Douglas a ground general? Uh, Douglas is a ground general, isn't he? I don't know. I don't use my Douglas. I have like six or seven copies, and there was I, there was a problem with him that I didn't like. I wanted to use him, but uh, maybe he is range. He's range. That's why I didn't use him because I have Simeon, and I'm not going to start over on a range general. Even though I got lucky, I got like it felt like six copies. Maybe it was less. Um, Okay, so this is a range march. Sorry about that brain cramp. Uh, where are his troops, though? Oh. What am I missing here? If this is a range march, where are his range troops? I haven't seen a lair. A T-8 range rally? <laughs> He didn't even fill out his layers. He must have had range somewhere else. I don't think this is a meta to do a T8 
And I've seen some weird stuff where people will march like T5 range at somebody and, and win on points. You know, like whatever. I, I think he was out of, I think his range were in other places. I don't know. I can't imagine this was a preset with with T, uh, T8 and T, T7 range and not even fill out his layers. I assume they were just, he's probably holding a building and didn't realize it or something. Let's see if everybody else followed suit. Maybe it is a thing. Is Electra range? You think I'd know that too? I thought Electra was mounted. I don't use Electra if you can't tell. Let's just assume it's range. Let's go to somebody. Well, no, let's see what trip she sent. Look at this. It is a, a T7 range rally. That's bizarre. Hmm. We're learning together. Tell me in the comments. And I'm not trying to get you to comment because I'm trying to build my channel. I actually, I don't want my channel any bigger because people are figuring out who I am in SVS and that ticks me off. It made me want to delete the entire channel. To be honest, they wouldn't hit me because they recognized my account and they, whatever. <laughs> that made me want to either quit Ebony or just delete my channel. So don't comment to get more people to watch my videos. Comment so I know what the hell you're saying. I don't get paid by YouTube. Um, this person sent ground, right? Yep, ground. So this is a mixed rally like we were talking about. I wish, well, let's see how much the ground damage did. Not too much. Call it a sacrificial join here. What do we got here? This is the fourth person. Does that mean Electra's ground? No, Electra's range. Yeah, you're taking advice from me, and I don't even know what Electra does. I've never used Electra. <laughs> so I would take your skin just because it looks cool, but we're looking for their troops. There we go. Range T7. Hmm. Maybe it's such a big secret I won't post this video. You know what? You guys didn't stay this long anyways. Nobody's still watching this channel. This is, I think this is like an hour-long video. Now you know why I haven't posted any more videos. All right, here we got range. Simeon, I know he's range. Mason Weaver, I don't have any either. I don't even have a copy of her. Um... She's a liberal photojournalist anyways, right? Just looking at the troop build, T7. That is weird. That is weird. So they're, they're up to something. Well, there's a great march. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my point still hasn't been revealed. I see there's two people still watching. Um, then they then they zeroed me. I did not eat this march. They lost 211 million and I lost 531. I was down to half power quickly. I tried to heal a little bit of all my layers to make sure that I had something home. You know, that's why you see I had 500 troops because I just quickly healed just to make sure I had every troop layer available kind of looks like I did and I still got zeroed what did they send Ronin 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 mounted see I know who polygenous 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 I don't know how to say his name but I know he's mounted because that's who I use and their mounted troop. Mounted is great because that's so much attack. So if you can kill something in one shot, you use mounted. But it's going to get destroyed if, if the other person gets a turn in retaliation. So mounted dies very easily but kills a ton, as you can see in these numbers. So um, there's nothing really to see on that report. I can look at his buffs. His mounted buffs are significant 2600 
what were the busts on the ranged t7 range almost 2600 that that's that's a big swing for me and that's a eight person rally i'm starting to feel a little better about holding up for three hits um and then their siege we already looked at was 2400 now i'm going to take advantage of it and see how much range debuff i have i think we already knew but i'm just going to make sure 919 so I, yeah i think we knew that from a previous one i'd like to know what my mounted troop debuffs are Not that great. 911. And see, my mounted troop debuffs are up from 619 to 629. That just tells me I used a 20% because <laughs> I knew I was going to get smoked. So um, instead of a 10% boost. Okay, I think I know you want me to go longer, but I think I'm going to end it there. I'm just going to run through my script real quick and make sure. Oh, no, <laughs> I had a point to all this. <laughs> Good thing I read my script. Um, so when I went back to grabbing my subs yesterday, I was putting back on my my gold and purple Russian subsidies, and they're like, hey, I really want to keep it because I went into Battlefield and I did better than I normally did. And I'm just like, What? Because I got smoked in Battlefield, and I'm like, do, do subs make that much of a difference? If you take a look at a gold, I mean, you're getting in-city troop attack 40%, because I do count siege attack. I don't count siege debuff, right? That's the difference. So I'm getting 40% in-city troop attack per building. Now, an upgrade from a purple to a gold isn't that much, but I didn't have any Russians on. I mean, I I think I had two Russians left. Um, I think it was one. I think I had one purple Russian on. One purple, or I'm sorry, one gold Russian. And even my, my culture was uh, whatever gives you research boost. So I lost eight Russian subsidies. That's a lot. So you're talking 40% attack times eight and then what's the next one here trap attack i don't know if trap attack helps or not I, I, if you're following me you know i tried a, a different strategy with my traps and it seems like it's working because i'm winning battles but i don't know if it's working uh in fact when i go and look and see what my traps are killing i almost think it isn't working like the ones that i think focus on their mounted troop attacks don't so I'm blabbering again. I think these subsidies are valued more than I thought. I thought it was just like another little bonus, like upgrading my Parthenian gear. But I'd like to know how I would have done against these guys. It was a full rally. I still did okay on the first couple rallies. I'd like to last more than three rallies. Uh, my wife wants me to last longer. So if these Russian subsidies would help... Uh, I, I just wanted to throw that in there. I guess that was my point. Uh, I I didn't realize the full value till people were telling me one subsidy helped them, and I got rid of eight, so or seven, eight, eight. So all right, this time I'm not even going to read my script anymore. I lied. I'm looking at it right now. I don't I don't think I forgot anything else. Okay, that's it. Until next time. Don't like and don't subscribe and don't tell any about me on your server. If you are watching my videos and we go into SVS and you see me, do your part and don't say, hey, don't hit this guy. Because that's what happened last SVS, the last two of them. I had to find some really dumb people that didn't talk to anybody that actually would hit me. So if I showed one of your reports, guess which category you're in.